Deadly Trash, the girl coming to you from my private surfantarium. Today, I got a very special surprise. When I was taking a walk through, I have a few gravid moms. This beautiful Anuri sand boa, it's heavy, it's got sand in it. And I was checking on this mama and I see at least one little baby that she's given birth to and so I was pretty excited this one's an annuary like the mother and the father so I'm going to take this tub down and we're going to get a closer look at the sand here is my big beautiful mom and believe it or not this girl was born from fantasy reptiles in Denver Colorado from the breeder Isaiah Phillips in 2002 so she is 17 years old this year. Now looking at her, I'm not 100% that she's done giving birth. So I'm just gonna show her for a moment. And um, I'm pretty happy that uh, she's either done or almost done. And she looks to be at a pretty decent weight. Although when you pick her up, you can tell that her scales are somewhat slack. She feels kind of hollow, like a mom who just gave birth to a little litter of babies and she's gonna need to be fed up nice and heavy all right oh all right so here's one beautiful baby Is that a little face? I saw you. <laughs> Another beautiful baby. All right, let's see here. Oh, I see someone else. There's somebody. <laughs> nice litter. <laughs> There's somebody. No, no, kiddos. Wow. And see their little umbilical cords right there. So these little ones are gonna have to be kept on a somewhat damp substrate in the beginning. They are susceptible to drying out. So I'm gonna keep them on damp paper starting off. Oh. Wow. Look at you, you're beautiful. Mm. Okay, I pulled that one's umbilical cord. There's the placenta attached.
<laughs> wow. It's like an Easter egg hunt. So all these little dried bits are the placentas. Right, that might be it. All right, so I'll clean this out before mom goes back in and uh, sift all the sand. And so that'll be a final triple check. Make sure we don't have any little ones left in there. So now I'm wondering how many were in this litter. Looks like. Might have been one I had already counted, but I don't think so. Looks like 14 viable babies. Pretty awesome. They look pretty happy. So I'm going to make sure they have a nice water dish. They've got the paper to hide under if they want to, which it looks like they most mostly want to. They're going to be kept nice and warm. And they can be housed together until they reach a feeding stage. So I'm gonna give them a couple of days to shed out. They'll be in my nursery rack that's nice and quiet and warm. And in a week or two, hopefully they'll take their first meals. I will keep you guys updated. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this sand boa birthing count probably my favorite thing about boas no egg incubation which I do have some incubator videos coming up but you guys know I lost a lot of my season's production when my last incubator failed but luckily things are turning around I've got several incubators built and ready to go one that does have some eggs in it I recently got some corn snake eggs got boas giving birth and it's a pretty awesome day Hope you guys like this one and I'll see you next time.